And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. A pretty quiet day for our Wednesday. Perhaps maybe if you wanted to do a little bit of summer cleaning out there, the mother nature wasn't stopping you. We do see some fair weather clouds passing through our area this afternoon and even a little bit of blue skies, but still enough haze out there from some of the smoky conditions. Now in the last 48 hours, we had a strong plume of smoke move through our area Tuesday, and then we started to see a little bit of clear air start to work its way in here. Still under a weather, it's good. Good to moderate air quality across the Badger State, but off to our neighboring state of Minnesota. There in some locations in Bemidji right now, for example, very unhealthy air because of all that wildfire smoke reaching down into the surface. We've got an air of high pressure right now over Michigan, the lower peninsula. A couple of weak disturbances of low pressure providing some light rain showers over northwestern Wisconsin into Minnesota. There will be a little bit of some light rain and isolated thunderstorms as we get into tomorrow. It looks like very isolated to lightly scattered. Uh, looks like as it moves through our area will be interacting with some stable air, preventing more widespread coverage with showers and storms. As you get to Friday morning, there could be a few isolated rain showers, especially along the shoreline. By Friday afternoon, remaining rather quiet, but then there will be another wave that moves in here Saturday, and that'll bring in some showers and storms into our area along a frontal boundary. Behind it, there'll be a little bit of cooler air on Sunday, but Saturday is going to get pretty toasty out there. 75 in Clintonville, 75 also in Oshkosh, 78 in Fond du Lac, 73 right now in Green Bay. Dew points not too shabby. We've cooled off into those mid and lower 50 degree dew points. That's that nice dry crisp air. A little bit more humidity just west of the I-41 corridor near those upper 50s to lower to 60 degree dew points. We'll cool off into the upper 50s tonight with mostly cloudy skies under calm winds. And then as we get into the day for tomorrow, we'll get up into the upper 70s. Southeast winds at about 5 miles per hour. A few isolated showers or storms are possible. Our 7-day forecast shows that the heat and humidity is returning. 87 on Friday, getting near 90 degrees on Saturday with those showers and storms. If the cloudy skies do stick around a little longer into the morning and afternoon, that 89 could easily drop down to 84. 85 on Sunday with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. 88 on Monday, an isolated chance of a storm on Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures remain in the mid and upper 80s. It looks like this pattern is going to be sticking around here through at least next week, Thursday or Friday, and then it's going to start to break down. We'll get down into those upper 70s and lower 80s once again, but at least for now, it's going to start to get warm and humid. Another hot summer weekend in store. Sure is. Thanks. Coming up right after the break, 